Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. I'm Black Bob Man. This is Sierra. And I'm Mel Melodic Waffle. Name's Ventus, but everybody just calls me Ven. Huh. Guess when I sat down to rest, I must have fallen asleep. But where'd you come from? Well, you see. Hmm? All right, all right, we're going. So long, Ben. Hey. Where are you guys off to? King saw a shooting star, and we're gonna go hunt it down! A shooting star? You mind if I come along? Of course not! But you gotta agree to follow us! Yeah! It's, uh, right over... That way! By the Indian camp! Ready, man? Forward, march! Okay! Well, there's like this weird, like, back and forth switching between low, low res face animations and like high res in these games. That's like really jarring sometimes when you notice it. Yeah. I remember it in the first game a lot. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I assume they fixed that in the HD. Well, it's not so much one of that. One of them is bad. It's just that there's this big gap in qual in detail. Right, because like in one of them they actually have a mouth, and in the other one the mouth is just a texture. Yeah. So this, um, in this world, I decided to use a lot more D links since I uh, I keep forgetting to show those off. So there will be more D links. I promise. Cool. Cool. That's not a D link. No, but the okay. meter's not full. I know, but everybody loves. All is forgiven. I said more, not all the time. So well, that's Air Flare 3. You jump twice in Air Flare 3. That's the big difference. Okay, so remember when last video when you were like, wait, did these guys always dig underground? Yeah, do that you remember doesn't. that? Because there was that arena match with like five of these guys in them, or like a bajillion of these guys. And you didn't realize that they burrowed underground because I always kill them too fast. There you go. That's all their attacks. Oh, what a dick bag. Lurkers? Yeah, that's that's those guys from Star. From what? The lurkers from Starcraft. They dig underground and they shoot up spikes. Okay. Yeah, we were, we talked about that. That's right. Are these these aren't prize pots? What am I? No. I can't remember if I actually encountered the price card. Oh, I do later, but anyway, spoilers. I recorded this like a couple days ago, so it's kind of funny that I can't remember. Or maybe I recorded it a week ago. I can't. That's how much attention I pay to my own life. Well, I can't remember, so don't ask me. All I can think about is bikes and hockey. Bikes and hockey. The last. 20 minutes of this call are to be believed. Why were you like listening the whole time? No. To be rant about hockey. 
No, but I had a. I, I did. A... I did. They, the Sabres scored, and I screamed into the microphone. I think I. Yeah, that was fun to I listen think I, to. I think I scared Melodic Waffle a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It was a really good goal. So. I was. I'm excited. glad you were happy anyway. So yeah, the cool thing about Spark Raid is that um. The little electric keyblade strike raids that come out of it when it hits the enemy actually home in on the enemies around it so that's pretty cool let's get our mickey on i think i got my mickey on before but oh my god i can't hit that guy gah okay it's okay now. so i'm pretty sure i showed mickey off before but like his commands that you get are so like tremendously bad i think i remember you mentioning that yeah, oh, I, I'm pretty sure I showed this off already, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a really bad finishing move in Recoded that is exactly the same as that, and it's just really bad and stupid. But those those totem pole guys weren't new, aren't new, are they? They're unique to this world. Their gimmick is... New to this world, but... <clears throat> right, their, their gimmick is that, um... They have three segments that are different colors, and their weakness depends on which segment is in the middle. So if it's, you know, if it's breathing fire at you, if it's weak to ice, if it's lightning, it's... Yeah. I don't even know. Whoops. So auto-teleport is a pretty cool thing. So if you if Ventus gets into, like, a really awkward or embarrassing situation, he automatically teleports somewhere else. How do you define embarrassing or awkward? Uh, I don't know, man. It just knows. But you get it because it's got the little star shard auto teleport. Because that's that star shard just makes you randomly teleport places all the time. Oh. That's the that's the thing. All right, let me. I got my guide right here, so let me look up the names of these. Unversed. Disney Town. So wait, what are we doing on this? What's the plot reason for being on this world? Uh, we're looking for buried pirate. We're looking for pirate treasure. Well, no, they're oh. looking for Peter Pan, and Peter Pan is looking for pirate treasure or something. Or he found a treasure map. And this is before or after Terra? After. After Terra. Yeah, Terra was already here. Oh, man. Triple Wrecker is what those guys are called. Hmm. Okay. And the big monkey dudes are wild bruisers. I'm sure they certainly are. And those are scrappers. They're purple in the regular game. Those guys aren't new. I know, I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm looking at the guy and it's got their regular colors. Kind of boring. I like the remix. I'm used to the remix colors. Like I said, I've played this game twice. but Okay, so the physics with Glide are kind of funny. I think... This is when you officially get glide, but I like already had glide. Like sometimes if you hit a hit a wall at the right angle, you'll go up. Sometimes you go down. It's like nice. totally weird and random. Now I wonder what color were these uh, wild bruisers? Originally, because that black color seems pretty normal. Brown, I think. Were they? Hmm. I don't know. I uh, don't... they were like orange. Yeah, no, they were like orange in the original. Orange and brown. Like orangutans. They had, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly what they looked like. It was orangutan. And now they look more like gorillas, right? Yeah. And I think you could kind of see their faces a little bit easier do, 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 with the regular colors. Do. I read some article and it. Okay, so I just picked up an, the the double exp, but I haven't. So I'm wondering, since I was stuck in that finishing animation, I was wondering, oh. if, do do you think I still get double exp if I kill someone with that finishing move before it does the little transformation? Whoa, this is something I want to know. We'll find out. I don't know. I, oh wait, it's too late to find out now. Yeah, I. It's no, one no. of those like. Again, I like to learn about the mechanics of the game, but uh, yeah, you get double EXP from Mickey, so it's a really good. Peter Pan. Who do 
we have here? Never seen you before. I'm Ventus. Call me Vin. Well, if you say so. Tension! Now then, men. I don't suppose you'd want to capture some real pirate treasure. Real pirate treasure? Sure! Well, guess who caught sight of Hook right when he was stashing his treasure? What do you say we sneak in and grab it? Oh, boy! Let's go, let's go! Ow! Oh! Tinkerbell? What's gotten into you? We were all supposed to go hunt for a shooting star together. Forget that. Pirate treasure is way more fun. Tink, you're coming with us. Well, that's no way to respond to an invitation. Come on, Ben. You're a better sport than her, right? I'd love to join you, but first I want to find the shooting star. So they go their separate ways. And then he just kind of stares. Stands there, contemplates his place in the universe. There's a save here. There's literally a save two screens away from here as well. I'm not really sure what the deal is. Yeah. Fuck you, Peter Pan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. I should have like trashed his hideout, that would have been awesome. Can you get in there? I missed it. I just was in his hideout. Oh. I, just, I just missed it. Where were you? Oh, was that when you were secretly getting a snack? Uh, no, I haven't done that yet. Maybe <laughs> we'll do that after this video. S secret snacks. Oh, did you see that? That was awesome. Spark Raid, for some reason, hit him multiple times and just like followed him to the grave. Surprise 2 is awesome. Okay. Surprise is all. Surprise! Oh, surprise! I don't think this is the way to the Indian camp. How does he know? Well, he does know because that was back where he came from, but. Like, every door you go to says, I don't think this is the way to the Indian camp, but how the fuck does he know? He's never been here before. Maybe he saw it on his way down. From he the doesn't! Start. He doesn't have a map yet. Okay, he does now, but still! He doesn't know! I, I love know. I love how these games give you a big long animation and a big treasure chest to the map. Mickey's Star Shard? <laughs> <laughs> my shooting star and a pixie. Must be my birthday. Let Tinkerbell go! Ha! Huh, one of Peter Pan's brats! Well, tell that cowardly sparrow, if he wants his precious Tinkerbell back, he'd best meet me at Mermaid Lagoon! Stop! <laughs> Scram! Well, no sign of Mickey or Vanitas. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> oh, there's Mickey. Wait. Wait a minute. Well, all I gotta that's do is... A, that's just a picture. All I gotta do is call, and then he'll be there. So here's Holy Blast. Is the better oh. version of this. So what it does is it's you going. get projectiles that home in on enemies. And it goes counterclockwise. Oh, did the other one go clockwise? And there, you just saw the auto-teleport. I, an enemy attacked me, and I automatically teleported out of the way. I hope and, you tell me to go. and hey, you know who suck? These guys. Fuck them. Oh my god. Ah, I wanted to punch someone. Wouldn't it have been funny if I had died here? No! It would have been awful. Do you die? No. You're gonna die in like 30 seconds, aren't you? Uh, hell no. You like how it leaves like an impression of you behind? So, it's a very impressionist command, is what I'm saying. It leaves your impression in space-time behind you. I never understood what impressionist art was. 
Impressionist <laughs> art is art that gives you the impression of something. So instead of this someone actually it. So instead of someone, so it's not you don't draw the scene literally. You draw the impression of the scene. So it, the one famous drawing is of a woman walking down the stairs, and it's. Literally, it's just a sort of a trail of of picture of drawings of this woman going down the stairs because it's like the impression she's left in space on every step. Oh, that makes. That's what impressionist art is. I thought of I thought it was something along those lines. Yeah, and uh, it's all right. I like expressionist stuff better, but that's also because it's German. Anyway, random art chat over... No, I love futurist art the best. Futurism is the funniest shit. Anyway. Oh, yeah! Yeah. So we now she's got the... Now she's, she's got, poisoned. Now, now she's got, like, the um, popped collar. That's what it is. She popped her collar. Now oh, she's about to die. Or probably or, die. Or she has that coat or whatever it is. Okay, first of all... Hilarious. Second of all, <laughs> this is the this is her new uh, finishing move. Oh, the move I was trying to use, Bashful, is actually Warp, which is that instant death move that Terra gets. Ace the fucking rainbow. Right? Isn't this a cool finishing move? You send seven projectiles really at them. Slow, it, looks, it looks neat. It'd be funny. It'd be cool if they all like split off from each other and just homed in randomly, like a big like. Multi-ball pinball. I lost them. You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? <laughs> <laughs> Look out below! Peter, help! Tinkerbell's been pixie napped! Then I'm too late! Hook's gonna pay for this! He said to meet him at Mermaid Lagoon. Gotta be an ambush. Huh, that old codfish thinks he's clever. Hey, I'm going too! Well, we have to hurry. Can you keep up? You bet. Let's just hop on your floaty skateboard. Um, because that's yeah. cheating? Not well, that would make sense. I have to get to Mermaid Lagoon, and look, I went up the wall that time. Physics make no sense in this game. It's always been that way with Glide, though. Game. What's up? You question, question the logic of a game where you carry on a giant key. Cannon fire? Where's it coming from? On the water! Over there! Tink, it's you! And you're all right! What? A strange fellow with a funny-looking sword has... <laughs> Hold on! I gotta stop that cannon! Okay. I'll go after Hook. Right. Tink, if you would. What? It's pixie dust. Bet you feel lighter now, don't you? In, in... It's like fun. In most of the rooms, any of the rooms where you're like, can see the water, so like this room, you'll see the ship in the background, and then like cannonballs will just explode, like that. Whoa! Right? It's so you just got glide? I just got regular glide. I thought you said regular glide was in like the final world. This is the final world, dude. Oh, I thought you meant the final final world. No, that's the. Yeah. No, I meant this world. Um. 
So glide is is glide is actually not completely useless after you've gotten super glide. There is one thing you can make with glide that's really funny, and I'm gonna level up glide to make it and show it to everybody because it's kind of cute. And I think he can learn ice slide. In fact, I'm definitely sure he can learn ice slide. And then he and Aqua have another move that only they can learn. And fuck the camera just made me walk to that nice. door. <laughs> they have oh, another yeah. move called on. homing slide that they can learn. And it's a really weird move that you can only make. You never, like, buy it or find it. And it's, like, a really fucking weird thing that doesn't actually do anything. I don't know. Normally I don't use stop, but that stop had like air combo plus attached to it, so that's why I was using it. And then I re-equipped Wind Raid, and then I almost died because oops. I equipped Wind Raid. Haha, <laughs> oops. Those guys are called Yellow Mustard. Except they're like much more of an orange color in this one. Mustard. Oops. Oops. I hit the wrong button. I don't think you can get hurt while you're stunned like that, so I think it's just, like, to piss you off, really. Oh, and, and thanks! Look, yeah, right? It's kind of neat that um, those count as, like, actual attacks. So they can they can hit enemies, they can hit you, they can blow up stuff. So here, this was really smart. Watch this. So I got, like, five hits out of that for surprise, so I got, like, a ton of money. It's pretty cool. I hadn't really ever thought of doing that before. Now, I'm sure you've already yeah. extra benefit for leveling up these D-Links outside of the actual D-Link itself. Um, yeah, to fill out the journal. Oh, but you don't get, like, an ability for plain Ventus if you, fin if you fill out a D-Link. No, but the the bonus abilities are really nice that you get for being in a D link, like the double EXP and stuff like that. So it's oh. worth it for that. But also, um, yeah, you need to do their finishing moves because you notice their finishing moves have hit counters, and you have to do every single move with a hit counter to fill out the reports. Um, that includes every shot lock, and then every single one of those, and you have to get at least one hit. So. You can't just do the move. You have to have at least hit someone once. You know, actually, I've noticed you haven't really been using shot locks Because they're lately. cheap. Oh. I mostly, only, I mostly use them on bosses, special bosses. And I've already shown off almost all of them, so... Uh, Ventus doesn't have any unique ones? He has one unique one. Two, sorry. He's got one unique one and then his ultimate shot lock. So, he's got two. And I actually believe I picked it up and didn't... I picked it up in deep space and I totally didn't point it out, but he gets Pulse Bomb. And I haven't shown it off yet, but I'm going to show it off next video. Um, but Pulse Bomb is his um, unique shot lock besides his, you know, ultimate one, which is pretty awesome. And, uh... Um, More Dancing Lemons. Yeah, you can get Dancing Lemons elsewhere, which is why this is kind of dumb. But I think you get, like, some kind of, like, cloud candy or some shit. <laughs> Honey Bunch. That was awesome. What? It's the whole crazy, fiery animation. Just things exploding everywhere. That's, that's, why, that's why I love this series. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, insane spectacle. But yeah, Dancing Lemons. Uh, pirate honey, ships. Honey Bunches. The other thing Honey bunches of oats, and then I just got blitz, which I for some reason didn't have before. Oh, because I knew I was gonna get it, so I never made it. Okay, I'm like determined to fucking get his second level out of this. So you can at quick blitz and sliding dash. You can actually put in the middle of a combo, and you'll continue the combo afterwards. So you can kind of seamlessly integrate them into your combos. I discovered playing this <laughs> this time, which is why they're not very strong. Um, I didn't do it that time, but that's yeah. That's why they're not particularly strong, is because they're they're like an extra hit in your combo. 
Although, honestly, the best part of the combo is the finishing move, so I'm not really sure what's so good about... Oops, jump um, a little, little higher. There you go. I'm not so sure what's what's so good about combo pluses, but... So this is cool. So this is this attack. It's oh. kind of similar to um, his ultimate one, where it drops meteors, but except instead of dropping meteors, it shoots little spires out of the ground. I'm not really sure why I healed with... <laughs> yeah, you're full anyway. His, his heal. All right. Uh, oh, so stickers. Yeah! I got some more stickers. Let's do this shit. Sweet. Yeehaw. So much ice cream. They were like... Alright guys, we're putting Ven in the game. What are we doing? Oh, ice cream. All the ice cream. Uh, ooh. Alright. So. So for some reason, one of them is on the ground. The other two are in the air. He's got Chipmunk at his feet. There's a happy rainbow in the corner. We're gonna paint a happy little bush over here. Anybody? They all are have like. Sure, a... Are you sure it goes there? Are you sure the ice cream goes there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure why there's a rainbow and a UFO in all of them, but there is. The rainbow is now spitting confetti out. Yeah. It looks like a fucking party. So I got Salvation was that move, and we'll be seeing a little bit more. We'll be seeing that move pretty soon. <laughs> Alas, and so passeth a worthy opponent to think that his would be such an inglorious end. Ugh. <laughs> At last, that scurvy brat will never trouble me again. I wouldn't be so sure of that, Hook. Swoggle me eyes. No, don't tell me. Oh, Jim. Blast that Peter Pan! Oh, is that salt? No, not again! Stay away from me! I don't think so. This is a really awesome boss fight. Um. Mr. Hook. Can you throw him into the water for like a crazy QTE with the alligator? Crocodile. Shh. Shh. We're getting there. So I tried to go over there because there's treasure boxes, which you could actually see in the cutscene behind him. Yeah. But I wasn't able to get them. Oh, he's throwing those exploding presents again. I Ugh. know. It's, it's similar. So those. if you get a finishing move here, he goes on, uh, gets off balance, and then he gets bitten. And the cool thing is you actually get a bunch of free hits. While he's getting mad about crocodiles. Oh. How is he not hitting you? Uh, cause I'm underneath him. Oh no, oh. cause you're invincible while you charge up. Surprise. And then, ugh. Ah. Oh, he can really, he if you if you get caught in uh one of his flurries of swipes, he can really fucking take your HP down. And then he's gonna. How did he get out here? He was. Where's oh, that? he was yeah. coming. Okay, so he went to the island with the treasure box, okay, and put Terra there to guard it. And this is him coming back. Yeah, but where's. Does he have like a little boat? The boat is over there, isn't it? Here? Is Not the, the ship. No, the, yeah, the little rowboat, isn't it over there? I don't I don't know. Well, you can't really see it anyway, but that's probably how he got back. So, right now, what's happening is... 
after you beat Peter Pan, Peter Pan went to the ship and took over the ship. And Terra... I don't know what the fuck Terra did. He left or whatever? Oh no, he killed some jellyfish. That's no. So he's killing jelly... Terra's killing jellyfish right now. Yeah, so if you get caught in those hits, he really... Like, it's taking off like a quarter of my health bar. It's pretty tough. I kinda wish the crocodile would go for you if you fell in. I think he does, I just don't ever go in the water that far. I'm pretty sure he does actually hit you if you get in the water. So, you know, which is why he's constantly trying to push you into the water. So, I really wanted to see if the crocodile could kill him, but he can't. Only you can kill bosses. I kind of think it'd be funny if the crocodile killed him. I'm just saying. Crocodile bit him to in the butt to death. Crocodile bites hurt. Probably. Chest. Treasure! Yep, the same chest I told you about. We snatched it right from Hook's hiding place. Huh? How come it's empty? Oh, uh, sorry, but we lost it all the treasures. Oh, well, that's too bad. Aw, uh, who needs it? It was probably just full of dumb old jewels or doubloons or something anyways. We could just put what we treasure in there instead, if you wanna. Yeah, that's perfect. Instead of filling it up with jewels and gold and stuff, we'll put in what's truly special to us, the real riches. What are you putting in, Ben? How about this? Hmm, what is it? It's just something that one of my best friends gave me. So it's like a keepsake, huh? You sure you want to part with something that's special? Yep. I don't need it if I've got Terra and Aqua. Our best memories are still ahead. All right, then. Next time you visit, we'll have an even bigger chest waiting. Enough for all those treasures and lots more. Okay. It's a deal. Oh, wait, Tink. I'm pretty sure that belongs to a friend of mine. Do you think maybe I could hang on to it? Now, Tink! Thank you. Don't worry, men. No matter where that light takes him, Ben will always have friends waiting to meet him. <laughs> he warps into the middle of Blackgate. The Joker's just sitting there. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> Alright. That's Neverland. So, uh... Normally, you immediately go to the next world, because obviously he's warping around, but I just wanted to go back here and get the last two treasure chests, which are, like I said, right there. Woo! Wanted to show off the cute, nice little details in the room. There's a lot of cool little nooks and crannies. Also, if you keep going on the water and keep gliding, you eventually fall into the water. You don't skim on top of it, which would have looked really cool, Square. Oh, rail behind you. Oh, that would have been cool. Oh well. Which oh, is that's... funny. He, it's funny he says that because he watched them ride the boat back. 
So I figured I'd show off Salvation real quick while I'm here. Whoa. Salvation is a physical Whoa. attack. So it's uh, it's pretty good. It also heals you when you use it. But you can get knocked out of the animation really easily, so it's not as great as it sounds. Anyway, next time we teleport to a random place and a thing happens at the end.